we are talking to the incredibly cute and incredibly talented Stephanie, Stephanie Renee, Renee Wall. Wall. You guys are too sweet to me. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to be here. You guys are the cute and talented ones. Hello. Oh, my gosh. If well, we, shucks. We've, well, we've got a long <laughs> list, la laundry list to talk about everything that you are working on because she officially is probably the busiest woman in Hollywood. She <laughs> is. But let's first tell our audience how they can get tickets to Heavier Than at Boston Course. Do you don't know what heavier than is? You're missing out. Yeah. You are missing out. Super missing out. It's an incredible show. Have you seen it? I haven't gotten to yet, but I have every intention to this coming weekend. Not this weekend, but the following. Fantastic yeah. show. Yeah. Guys, we have two tickets that the generous Michael Seal and our friends at the uh, Theater at Boston Court have Great donated theater. for Beautiful heavier theater. than. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All you need to do is give us a call at 1 800 336 2225. But we don't want to just give you the tickets, we want to make it fun and we want to make it about our guests. So all you need to do is call us and have in your head three shows that Stephanie Renee Wall has worked on. All you need to do is Google her How to find out. How far are we going back? Yeah, are we going back to like childhood theater? Can it be anything or like? It can be anything they can, can, be can anything. find. Okay, fantastic. You know? okay. It's not like it's and a I'll difficult thing for them to find. Yeah, yeah. And you're the judge. <laughs> you can even guess. guess. Yeah. If, you, if you do yeah. three guesses, like I could probably see her in, in Alice in Wonderland. And, and I'll be like, I did not do that. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then you don't get the tickets, but Debbie you still Downer. do get to talk to us on air at 1-800-336-2225. Give us a call. Talk to Stephanie. Talk to Nettie. Talk to me. <laughs> and, and real quick, um, Heavier Than is a really great production, but also there's like a beautiful half-naked male model in it too. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. Well, how can you, you go wrong? Do, you don't want to. You don't want to miss this show. Actually, you really don't. Though it is. It's probably. It's some of the the best theater in Los Angeles right now. It's incredibly dramatic. Um, incredibly hard hitting. It's a great piece of theater. Yeah, Boston Court is a great, great, a great place to be. Yeah, high they concept. Are. Beautiful poetry. So okay. two free tickets to Heavier Than at 1-800-336-2225. Uh, say three shows that Stephanie Renee Wall has worked on. You can also follow us on Facebook at La La Land Talk and Twitter at La La Land Talk. And you can also tune into our live stream at ustream.tv slash channel slash CRN Studio Live. That's a lot of information. <laughs> Let's get to letters. Stephanie Renee Wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. Stephanie. Hi, guys. Hi. Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, word so you've been working in theater for a really really long time um and yeah. uh, let's let's i'm going like this so that i can see you i feel like yeah. i'm looking at wires oh, hi okay oh, i didn't, we'll leave, make I sure didn't you're leave not, frame you're still on I'm camera i'm still in frame you're hey. still in frame perfect <laughs> so how did that all you're start? ready for your close-up <laughs> mr demille okay <laughs> okay i'm sorry so how did that all start off for you how did um you begin in theater what was your earliest memories of it and, and how'd you get involved Honestly, I, I got bit by the bug when I was really little. I was like five, and my mom took me to see a children's theater production of Annie, and I was like, right, right, mommy, I want to do that. And oh. she promptly burst into tears and was like, oh, God, my daughter's <laughs> going to be an actress. Um, and I and I, so I kind of started doing it then, and I started singing and in Los taking Angeles. lessons. No, this is all in Orange County. Okay. Grew up in Orange County, yeah. Love it. Um, and, and we started doing that, and I took voice lessons and studied opera and the whole thing. And then that that lasted until I was when I did beauty pageants. That's a whole other fun part of the story too. Toddlers uh, and tiaras. I was that I was, was baby Jean Ramsey. Yeah, there are oh, pictures. Wow. It's hilarious. I could totally see that it's because hysterical. you have that face. That That's great. Beauty pageant. Face. It was silly. There's so there's so much in the history. Um, and so yeah, my vo then okay. So want wall part of the story. My vocal coach passed away when I was 14. I stopped singing entirely. Went into high school. Kind of was like. I don't, I was just sad about it and because we were really close and everything. And then um, I started, like, started dabbling in it again with like high school drama. It was not cool in high school at all. Like everyone made fun of me. Like I did the plays and stuff and, you know, didn't, never had a boyfriend, like the whole thing. But I like loved, I felt so alive on stage and everything. You're a drama nerd. Like I was, to uh, yeah, totally. And um, I kind of, I fell in love with it. And like, you know, people were like, be careful. Hollywood's a scary place to be, uh, you know. Um, but I did it anyway. <laughs> sure. um, and I graduated high school and I went to Fullerton College and I met um, one of my all time mentors, Gary Crinky, who is just such a wonderful man and teacher and educator. And um, he like really made me fall in love with it. And that's when I was like, I think I'm going to do this for my life. Like, I think I'm going to do this for real. Um, and so that I started, I guess I was really late to the game. Like most people went to like high school for this and you know, I've been really like gearing up for this their whole life. And so I guess jumping in at 19 made me a little later to the game than others, but 
or not. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. People are like, oh, I went to either high school of the arts, and you know. And I was like, oh yeah, I just like doing it. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, no, I think 19's still pretty early. Is yeah. it? I feel. Yeah. I guess I feel behind. Well, I mean, for a child actor. You know, you would yeah, and I was on a Christian kids TV show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I know. I guess it started, and then it's everything stopped for a minute, and then going jumping back into it. So I guess that's good because it was it was absolutely something that I wanted to do. It wasn't something that I just like kept doing because it's what I'd always done. Like I stopped, and then I couldn't I couldn't live without it. What's that sure. saying that they're like, if you can't do do everything yeah. else? My friend Michael tells me something. He's like, if there if there's anything else you can do, do it. Do it. But if there's nothing else you can do, you'll feel dead inside if you don't do it. Right. Be an actor, you know. Yeah. So that's, you know, I can't, I can't not do it. I, don't. I think it's like you'd be stupid to do to, to be an to actor or yeah. to you know be an entertainer. <laughs> if there's if anything you else you can do, be happy, else. do that. Yeah. <laughs> but sure. if you're gonna die inside and you know without <laughs> acting, then continue <laughs> acting. So yeah, so I, I got to do it for myself, and then since then, like God's been really good, and like doors have opened, and I've gotten to do really cool things, like go to Hong Kong doing it, and and come back and be in Hollywood. And oh, geez, they must have just loved you over there. I had a fun. I had a lot of fun. Hong Kong is you're probably like what did princess you do in material. I I got to sing as Belle in the Golden <gasps> Vacation show <laughs> oh my gosh at the, at, it was really fun and yeah. on the island there yeah yeah oh. the lantau island is it's hong kong disneyland they have their own it's like disney island there and it's was it amazing amazing yeah, yeah i fell in love i never in my life expected for performing to take me to any like asian country or anything like that and i never like made plans to travel over there like i'm like let's go to hawaii or like you know right. what i mean like i never thought i my travels would take me there and then I did six months in Hong Kong and I just fell in love with that city. It's awesome. Like the, the infusion of ancient Chinese culture and then like British culture, which is relatively mm. new compared to Chinese culture, like is unbelievable. The fusion of those two things. And it's such a juxtaposition of like prim and proper and high tea. And then you walk out on the street and like grandma's trying to sell you some homemade beef jerky. And oh you're like, gosh. is that a cat? Like, I don't know. When was that? When yeah, was exactly. that? I know my yeah. brother lives there. It, it blew me away. I yeah. mean, I've been there. It, Hong Kong is amazing. Yeah, it's super amazing. I hear music. Does that mean I have to stop for a second? Yeah, sorry. Oh, for being kicked off the air. Sorry. Wait, wait, when did That's you do that, though? I want to know. Sorry. Right after I graduated, 2008. Oh, I graduated 2008. I went right after that. That was Yeah, for incredible. the holidays. Yeah, and I came home. 2009. That must have been a crazy experience. It was it must fun. Have been so much fun. It was really fun. Okay. For any information about Stephanie, visit www.stephaniewall.com. Website. And she's not going to be here for long, so call in. She's got a huge performance tonight. 1-800-333. <laughs> 262225. Give us a call and get two free tickets to Heavier Than at Boston Court. That's bostoncourt.com. And we'll be back on La La Land with Brett and Ned right here on CRN Digital Talk. See you.